Hello, it's Cynthia, back here again from Ornamentia.com, and I want to show you how you can transform prep paper. This is a beautiful sheet of Cavallini paper, here's one that's not yet glazed, into a butterfly motif for a necklace, or you could use those on headbands, or hairpins, or even earrings. So the first thing I did is I very carefully cut a butterfly out of a sheet of this beautiful Cavallini butterfly paper that we have. Um, it's a nice sturdy paper. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but it's got a nice laid um, finish to it. Uh, it's almost like a watercolor paper. And the ink is really, really beautifully printed on there. I had to really test myself with my cutting skills, I have to say. I'm not the detail cutter I thought I was. But <laughs> anyway, um, I cut out the butterfly. Then I applied a layer of diamond glaze. Um, you can also use the decoupage glue or varnish if you wish. Um, the diamond glaze is a little thicker than the decoupage, but the decoupage does go on a little faster, so it's kind of up to you which you prefer to use. Um, here you can see I've applied one layer to the surface, to the top of this butterfly, and look, it's curled up. That's okay. I can turn the butterfly over and apply a second layer on the back with smooth, even strokes, and the butterfly will flatten back out. Here's a butterfly that I have put several layers on. You can see that the finish on this butterfly is very glossy. It's also a little bit stiff. Um, and there's some places where the glaze is over the edges a little bit. This is because I, when I painted it, I covered my work area first with just a piece of plastic, like saran wrap, or I actually like to use thick plastic bags and slide a piece of cardboard inside of them. Um, so I will have to trim this a little bit, trim off the extra glaze before I can proceed to make a necklace out of this beautiful butterfly. Isn't that really pretty? Um, anyway, so uh, again, I brushed the diamond glaze on. I'm a huge fan of this big wide decoupage brush. Um, we do sell these on the site. They're kind of expensive, but I have to tell you, I love this brush. It puts the glaze on so smoothly and so evenly. It feels really, really nice. Um, it's great for deco patch. It's great for the diamond glaze. Um, it works, you know, really, really well with both those products. You do need to keep it clean, though. Um, I highly suggest um, washing it very thoroughly after every use and storing it with the tip up and keeping the ferrule, that's the metal part of the brush, nice and clean as well. So, anyway, so here's the necklace. Now, after you've made glazed your paper. Um, you can put tiny holes in to attach a jump ring. I'm not sure if you could see that or not, but there's a little eyelet right there. Now, the eyelet, I've used some what are called decorative elements on the eyelet. Basically, they're washers, and those are going to prevent the eyelet from ripping through the paper. You could certainly just poke a hole in the paper and put a jump ring through it or put some wire through it, but the eyelet and the washer will make the necklace much sturdier. Um, it also adds a little bit of a, a nice look to it. I've chosen some star-shaped washers for the front of this, which looks really pretty. Now, to install those washers, I used the Crafted Findings riveting and setting tool. This thing is so easy to use. I could do a video on this, but actually I've already done a video on this, but the Crafted Findings folks also have a really fabulous video that um, the tool rotates in midair and it's very um, high tech looking. So you should check that out. I do always use that tool in a vise attached to the surface, to the edge of my work surface. Um, it does seem like you can use it holding it in your hands, but I have to tell you it's much easier if you use it in a vise. Um, if you look on our site, on the on the Crafted Findings rivet, Riveted Tool page, you can see a link to that video and to my other video using this, this tool. So anyway, here's the butterfly necklace. Now I finished my necklace with just some simple beaded chain. I love this chain. It makes projects go so quickly. Just figure out your length, open the loop, and put it on there. And this is a hand beaded chain, not a machine beaded chain, so it has round pretty loops, not those triangular machine made ones. Um, I'm not a big fan of those, obviously. Um, now you could do something a little bit more elaborate. Um, putting some pretty Elaine Ray beads in there might be nice. Um, you know, there's some of these that have beautiful sort of butterfly colors and that would be very, very pretty as well. Um, but anyway, there's a tutorial for how to make this butterfly necklace up on our site and you can go and print out all the instructions step by step and all the ingredients as well. Have a great day. Thank you.